Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. Today again we will be discussing three questions of three different topics of quantitative aptitude. Let us start with a clock question. So clock questions have been asked in gate increasingly. I think last two times they have been asked. This is a very simple question of clocks, one of the most preliminary type of questions. So again, please pause the video, give it a good try and then you can cross check with the solution that we discussed, right? So the minor angle between the hour hand and minute hand of a clock was observed at 8.48 a.m. The minimum duration in minutes after 8.48 a.m. when this angle increases by 50% is what? So what exactly is this uh, question asking us? The angle between the hour hand and minute hand at 8.48 has been given. So what is the time in which this angle is going to increase by 50%? This angle is going to increase by 50%. So the first thing we need to do is find out what this angle is, right? At 8.48, what is the angle between the hour hand and minute hand, right? So first and foremost, all questions of clock are going to revolve around the concept of the speed of hour hand, speed of minute hand. So first, let's make a note of that. The speed of minute hand is 6 degrees per minute. Where does this come from? The entire 360 degree it is covering in 60 minutes, right? Entire 360 degree it covers in 60 minutes. So the speed we can consider as 6 degree per minute as far as the minute hand is concerned. As far as the hour hand is concerned, it is going to cover only half a degree per minute. Again, it covers only 30 degree in 60 minutes. So that is half degree per minute. So speed of minute hand is 6 degree per minute. Speed of hour hand is half degree per minute. If you want to consider the relative speed, relative speed is going to be 5 and a half degrees per minute or this is nothing but 11 by 2 degree per minute, right? So this is something that you should know. You should remember even if you don't understand from where this came, just remember this because that's the fundamental of clock questions, right? Now let us see what is happening in this question. First and foremost, we need to find out the the angle at 8.48 a.m. right so 8.48 would look something like this this is the hour hand of course 8.48 means we are very close to 9 so this is going to be really close to 9 and 48 means somewhere near 10 right so how do we find out this angle of course you can calculate it uh, using the 6 degree per minute and half degree per minute that we just saw earlier or there is a formula you can use this formula also to find out the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand right so m is the minutes part which in 848 is 48 and h is the hour part which is going to be 8 in this case so if you just substitute the value you will get 24 degree so now we find out that this angle is 24 degree this angle is 24 degree now the question is saying after how much time the suppose x minutes right after x minutes i don't know where the hour hand and minute hand are right suppose this is where the hour hand is and suppose this is where the minute hand is, right? Just an assumption. So this angle is now 36 degree. And initially it was 24 degree, right? Initially it was 24 degree and now it has become 36 degree. So there is a, what is the difference? The difference is of 12 degree. In how much time does this difference of 12 degree come in? That is the question. And we already know the relative speed. We just saw the relative speed, right? We discussed the relative speed. It is 11 by 2. So can we not apply the concept of speed here? Can we not apply the concept of relative speed here? Where relative speed is going to be nothing but the difference divided by the time. And using that, you can find out the time. It is going to be simply the difference is 12. And uh, the time suppose is t. And the speed we saw is 11 by 2. So if I simplify this, I will be getting t as 24 by 11. t as 24 by 11. 11. So this is how we can solve this question. We can relate the concept of relative speed in clock questions because clock is nothing but two bodies, right, moving in the same direction. So you can apply the concept of relative speed. Now let's look at a question of algebra using logarithmic concepts, concepts of logarithm. So you have x and y as positive real numbers such that log with the base x of x square plus 12 equal to 4 and 3 into log with the base y of x is equal to 1. So what is x plus y? The options are 11, 10, 68 and 20. Right? So pause the video, give it a try. It's an easy question where we are looking at the fundamental concepts of logarithm. Right? Easy formula of logarithm. So the first expression given to me is this log of x square plus 12 where the base is x equal to 4. So what does this mean? This means that x raised to the power 4 is x square plus 12. 
If I bring this x square here, I will get x raised to the power 4 minus x square is equal to 12. x square taking common, x square multiplied with x square minus 1 is equal to 12, right? x square into x square minus 1 is equal to 12. So just think about what are the possible values that x square can take. We can write 12 as a product of two numbers. What it can be 1 into 12, it can be 2 into 6, it can be 3 into 4, right? That's all. So can we have... Uh, 12 as a square? No. Can we have 2 or 6 as a square? No. So 3 and 4 are the options possible because this can be 2 square and this can be 2 square minus 1, right? So clearly x square is going to be 4 and x square minus 1 is a 3. If x square is 4, then x can be either plus 2 or minus 2. But in the question, we have been given that x and y are positive real numbers. So the value of x equal to minus 2 is not going to be considered. And we have x equal to 2. So this is what we have found out. x is equal to 2 from the first expression. Now the next expression tells us log of x base is y multiplied with a 3 is 1, right? So this means log of x base y is 1 by 3. Again, y raised to the power 1 by 3 is going to be x. And we know what x is. x we just found out is a 2. So y is going to be nothing but x cube. That is 2 cube. That is equal to 8. That's all. So x plus y is going to be 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So that's all there is in this question. Easy question of the most basic uh, rule of log. Right? What exactly is the logarithmic function? That's what we are seeing in this question. The next question, give it a try. Pause the video, read the question and give it a try. Suppose f of x, y is a real valued function such that f of 3x plus 2y and 2x minus 5y is equal to 19x for all real numbers x and y. The value of x for which f of x, 2x is equal to 27 is what? So we have been given that uh, the f of 3x plus 2y and 2x minus 5y is 19x. So let me consider this as f of a, b, where this is equal to your f of 3x plus 2y and 2x minus 5y, right, for simplicity. So I can say a is equal to 3x plus 2y and I can take b is equal to 2x minus 5y and I know that this is equal to 19x. This is equal to 19x. This is what the question has been given to me, right? So let me eradicate y because everything else is in x in the question. Even what we need to find out is in terms of x, right? So let me remove y. If I solve this question, I will be able to remove y. Let's say uh, in order to remove y, we'll multiply this equation with a 5 and this equation with a 2, right? So let us simplify. So 3x plus 2y is equal to a. 2x minus 5y is equal to b. So 15x plus 10y is 5a. 4x minus 10y is 2b. If you just add, you will get 19x is equal to 5a plus 2b, which we saw is a function of a and b, right? So we have a function of a and b as 5a plus 2b. And what do I need to find out? f of x and 2x, right? So my a is going to be x and b is going to be 2x. So what is, going, what is this going to be? If I simplify, this will be 5 of x plus 2 into 2x, that is 4x, that is equal to 9x. And this is equal to 27 as per the question. And I need to find out for what value of x is this 9, 27. So x is going to be equal to 3. Right, that's all there is in this question. So mainly what we need to find in this question is how to express this function. How to express this function? Because if you look at the question initially, there is a lot of like f of 3x plus 2y, 2x minus 5y, 19x, x, 2x, lot of things are there. So we need to simplify it. We need to simplify and then see what is the function and how we can eradicate the variable y so as to ultimately arrive at the value of x. So the required answer is going to be 